G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, by popular demand today, I'm gonna to be showing you how I throw a cast net. After I dropped that prawning video a few weeks ago, had a heap of requests, people asking for a technique video, so we're gonna do it step by step today, as well as a whole heap of slow motion replays, so you guys can get out there and throw some pancakes of your own. Let's get stuck into it. Righto, so the first step to throwing a perfect pancake is loading your net correctly. Now, a little bit about this net. This is a Merv's cast net, it is a 12 foot, prawning top pocket cast net which means it's got a top pocket here and then it's just straight net all the way down to the chain now the first thing we want to do is manage our rope now because majority of the casting we're going to be doing is out of a boat we don't want to be holding onto our rope at all we want to tie it off to a cleat or a bollard in the boat and leave our rope neatly on the ground that just means it takes up less space in our hand and we've got more room to grab onto the net my first maneuver or my first step would be grabbing the top part of your net and then taking about an arm span down and forming a loop. Now because this is a 12 foot net, I have to take two loops or two spans to make loops. We want to finish with our hand about waist height. Now from there you want to split your net into two even chunks. So grab half and spread it out. Now you'll know you've done that correctly when there's only two bits of chain connecting those chunks. If you've got more than two bits of chains, your net's a bit tangled up and crossed up and you won't be able to do it correctly. So you'll have to walk your fingers through until you get two even chunks with just two bits of chain connecting. Now from there, you wanna grab the chain on the outside. So the furthest bit away from you and you wanna flick it over your shoulder. Now a little tip for young players, if your chain keeps on falling off your shoulders, one thing you can do is use your chin to lock it on while you load the rest of your net. Uh, it's great if you're wearing a raincoat and it slips off all the time, just use your chin to lock it in and it won't be a problem. Now from there, you want to use your hand and come around and use your thumb and your pinky to grab that chain. And we're going to use our ring finger to lock it in because this part of the chain is what we let go of last. The very last thing we let go of on the net. And that leaves these two fingers here and your thumb to grasp the rest of the net. So grab that and we are ready to throw. So I'm gonna put this down and set up some extra cameras and uh, that way we can watch the release in slow motion so we don't miss anything of the technique. But the thing we gotta remember most is letting go of this bit last. That's imperative that you do that. That helps your net to open up. So let go of that last, but let's get it going on slow-mo and see how it looks. Righto, things to check before you cast. Make sure your coast is clear. Make sure you're not gonna clean anyone up or snag anything on the way through. Make sure your rope's clear and where possible, cast with the wind. If you cast into the wind, this acts like a giant sail, will get caught up and it won't open as, as nicely as it could. So cast with the wind, hot tip. Righto, when you're ready to cast, a bit of a backward swing and then come through and release. Now remember what I said about letting go of that pinky and thumb bit of chain last. That's essential, so don't forget about that. Well, it doesn't get too much better than that. Let's go for a walk around the perimeter. You can see, the net is pretty well maxed out. And by following that method, you can do that just about every single time. It's that easy. There you go, legends. That is all there is to it. Just follow those steps. A few practice casts in the backyard and you'll be absolutely good as gold. Now, if you found this video helpful, make sure you like and comment. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe because there's plenty more fishing action and tutorials to come. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Have a good one.